to the next installment of our webinar series. This webinar is going to briefly show you how to use PDPs and goals. I'm Emma Dyer and I'm a paediatric registrar working in London and I'm also the ePortfolio and Curriculum Rep for the College Trainees Committee. Hello, I'm Fiona Hignett and I'm an STH General Peds trainee in Wessex and I'm also the Vice Chair of the Trainees Committee. So when you have your supervisor meeting at the start of your placements, one of the key aspects to this will be setting out your personal development placement. Your supervisor working with you can then create goals on your portfolio which match up to the PDP you've outlined and we're going to go through that. You create the form for your supervisor meeting before your actual meeting um, and by doing this you can click to create a new assessment then you go to supervision report all options and here there'll be an option to uh, drop down and select the type of report and this is going to be an induction meeting. Once you've opened this you'll find that there's a space down in the form to write your PDP, outlining what you want to get out of this placement. It's good to have a variety of things here. Some may be related to the clinical work, some to QI projects or teaching, and some to things out of work, such as grid applications, out of programme applications, or perhaps taking on other roles. We're going to do an example of a PDP for a trainee at the start of their training. This trainee perhaps feels that they aren't very experienced in cannulating smaller children and babies, so they write in their PDP that this is something they would like to improve upon by the end of their placement. You can submit this form uh, beforehand so that your supervisor will then be able to fill it in, or you can choose to fill it in on the same device if you're filling it in on the room with your supervisor. So your supervisor will then, in their part of the form, create goals with you based on your PDP, which you can then link to evidence within your portfolio later to demonstrate that you've achieved these goals. Once you're happy that they've been achieved, you can mark it as completed. Try to make your goals smart, meaning that they're specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely, rather than vague statements. So if we go back to our trainee who wanted to improve their cannulation skills, their supervisor in their induction meeting then creates a goal, which is to be confident in cannulating young children and babies independently by the end of this placement. The trainee plans to evidence this by DOPS for cannulation and using their skills log. If you want to add more goals after your supervisor meeting, you can do this. After your form has been submitted, then you can go to the goals tab, which you can see on the top of the portfolio screen. And here there's an option to add more goals under the relevant uh, PDP that's been filled in. This is also a good place to see an overview of your goals and you can sign them off as completed here as you uh, evidence each one. So here is how you can add more goals. And you can see here your all of your goals and PDPs. And then if you go into a goal, then this is how you can mark your goal. And you can see here there are different options and you can comment on whether or not you've achieved this. So you may have partially achieved it and you may want to carry this over uh, to a later job.